everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple Fanim here, and today I'm playing some more Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. So today, I'm gonna be trying something I've wanted to try a few times now, uh, but keep forgetting or messing up or thinking it was impossible, and then realizing, wait a sec, it might not be impossible. <laughs> um, I'm not super sure this is gonna work. If this isn't gonna work, worst case scenario, we're doing a bunch of very powerful super monkeys. Um, my plan is to try to get multiple vengeful sun gods, which in theory should work. Probably. Um, we'll see. Uh, so we're going to be doing Martian games. Obviously, it's sending the clones, which is great. That's how we're going to get multiple super monkeys. Uh, it is half cash, though, which kind of sucks. And wizard attack, which both really stink. The map is infinity, which is a really cool looking map. But it's actually pretty difficult, which isn't that great either. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're not exactly in the Gray's position. Uh, so this is my Super Monkey build, he is level 9, these are the trinkets I'm gonna be using. Uh, obviously the big key one here is the Dark Temple Idol, but I also have, I actually went for Soul Stone for the discount, then lots of other, like, random damage and attack speed boosts. Um, I have six Cobras equipped, which is all the ones I have, which is pretty close to the maximum. I have a bunch of Beemos, a bunch of Lemon Hopes, uh, I have some Hudson Abadirs, some Vampire Kings, some Tech Terrors, all sorts of good things. I'm just realizing now, though, I should probably have a businessman because I need to actually save up a little bit of money. I need to save up three thousand dollars, almost three thousand dollars. I don't know, close to three thousand dollars for um uh, for super monkeys. So I do actually need some weaker allies. So businessmen are great. Obviously, cobras do a pretty decent job of all of that, but they don't do a terrific job. So it's not a bad idea to have an extra tower here. Um, I'm just gonna say more businessmen because they're pretty efficient. Uh, but yeah, so lots of Cobras, lots of good allies here. Let's just get started, uh, because this is probably gonna take a while if this actually works. Um, so yeah. Hopefully this is gonna go pretty well. I'm pretty confident, but half cash plus wizard powers isn't the greatest combo. Uh, so basically, to start off, we're just gonna get as many Cobras as we can, which is in this case two, almost three. Hope that that can survive with a little bit of live leaking. Um, or life leaking rather, and then we'll, uh, we'll see from there. Uh, were those the first two? They were. I just want to double check I don't miss any, because it will make me mess up in the future. So they can pop balloons as well as generate lives, which is great. One of the many, many wonderful abilities of Cobras. I don't care that someone's on round 18. <laughs> uh, so because of that, you end up, you don't end up losing that many lives. Uh, you regain them pretty fast, so it's pretty great in that sense. Uh, they're one of the most, if not the most efficient money-making in the game. I'd probably say they are the most efficient, except maybe, like, I don't know, I guess maybe, um, like, money-making thin might be more efficient. But obviously, you can't really get too many of those. Okay, so I'm gonna go for all my Cobras first. I think that's what makes the most sense. Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe that is what makes the most sense. We're gonna get these quite quickly at this rate. Um, yeah, because we're currently keeping our life count good. Everything's honestly going pretty darn great right now. So I don't really see any reason to change this. These Cobra positions will probably get changed later, just in case that wasn't obvious. I do kind of like that I have Otter Start turned off right now, it's kind of nice. Uh, and yeah, as soon as we leak all these lives, we can just replace them, which is wonderful. Uh, okay, so that would be all of our Cobras. I am going to go for a uh, Banana Farm, because if I don't, I'm probably going to miss some stuff. We are starting to leak lives pretty quickly though. Uh, so I probably will need to go for some more defense since $3,000 is quite a bit, and I would rather not sell anything, so we'll see. I'll play out this round, depending on how things go, um, how many how low lives we are. We should be able to at least tank this round, but it's not sure we'll be able to tank another one, and we are leaking quite a few lives, and we're not making a stupid amount of money. We're making good money, but not a stupid amount, so... Do I want to tank? It's close. It's very close. Um, I think I can survive one more round, but I don't think one more round's gonna be enough. Um, it's a pretty hard decision. I'm gonna start it off and say I'm gonna tank, but we'll see. I'll have businessmen ready in case we need to plop them. Hopefully we won't. Hopefully we'll be able to tank through this round, um, and we'll make enough money, or at least close to enough money to make 3,000, potentially having to sell a few things, but not much. Though I will not lose. I do not want to die to this, so... For each life we lose, we can only lose so many this round. So, like, already we're losing quite a few lives. We're getting close to death here. If we die, obviously, I don't want that to happen. We are down to- we're dead. Okay, so, note to self, can't tank. Uh, I will be back. I will- or, no, I'll be back. You guys will be back. I'll be here the whole time. Uh, when we're back there and when we actually are in a better position, I guess. 
Uh, there is definitely a bit, a little bit of luck here because we can get more money than lives, and more lives than money, and that obviously has a big impact. Pretty sure you want money more than lives, even though we're trying to take to some degree. I believe it still makes more sense to go for lives. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, so I am back. It's round four, almost round five. I have two businessmen down here that are going to help me save a little bit of lives, and I will sell both of them for a total of 500-ish dollars. So we need 2,500 to save up, or we need 2,500 saved up for Super Monkey. I'm hoping we can survive that long. I'm not going to go for Monkey Farmer yet. We'll see how well this goes. I'm really hoping this is going to work out. I'm really, really hoping. I think we actually gain lives that round, but honestly, we're not doing all that much better than we were last time, which I don't love. Over $1,000 here, but only 100 lives left, and we need at least $1,400 more. So, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll be good here. We really only need to survive another round-ish. Uh, but as you can see, we are leaking lives. Leaking lives. Leaking lives very fast. Especially as these stronger balloons are coming out. We're getting closer and closer to death, but we should be able to survive this round. Though, we have... We have no taking ability. We basically need to afford Super Monkey now. So, if I sell both of these... We are left with 2300 which means I need to sell at least two of these. Uh, is two enough? Nope, we need one more. That really sucks. That's, that's a big deal. Uh, especially since we can more than easily still lose. Because Super Monkey is not impenetrable. He will still leak occasionally. So really, I just have to hope we're safe. Especially- Oh right, Wizard Powers! I forgot those were a thing! How, how wonderful! Oh, this could go so horribly wrong still. Hopefully this will be it. Hopefully we're good, we're golden, we're never gonna die again, and we'll live. You can see just how much confidence I have when I said that. I'm also a little scared because until I get Heroic Aura, we actually don't have immunity to these wizard effects. And they could give him fire and we could just straight up lose to bad luck. Uh, except I know if I don't go for these Cobras now, it's gonna be even worse. So this isn't the greatest position to be in. We need one more Cobra, uh, I'll go for Monkey Farmer next, and then I'm gonna rush Rorik Aura and then some more upgrades. Uh, cause the discount will be nice, and also just having that extra thing is good. At which point I'll probably try to go for a second Cobra, or a second Super Monkey, and I'll also get that Rorik Aura, and then we'll go from there. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's not, it's not a great position to be in. Alright, so that's a good amount. Now I guess I'll try to go for Monkey Farmer, it probably makes the most sense still to go for him. A little hard to say, because obviously it does cost money, uh, but occasionally if I just miss a couple cash crates, that pays for them. Probably not necessary, probably shouldn't have done it, but I did do it, so we'll see. Hopefully that's the wise choice. I will go for Rorik Aura now, and then obviously I'll go for the second Super Monkey, and hopefully we will be okay. Hopefully we will be okay, hopefully we will be okay. Uh, what I do know is that the next best thing- Oh, lead balloons. You exist, lead balloons. I'm dead. I'm dead again. I'm so dead Um... Hold on a second, that's- that's not something I can deal with. I need to swap around. Also, I just realized I never even gave Sue Monkey camera protection anyways. I did not plan this well. Give me a second. I'll see you when I actually have a working strategy. Okay, I am back. We've beaten the lead balloons. We're on to round 8. We have our Cobras, we have our Super Monkey, we almost have Heroic Aura. We hopefully have life! Maybe Heroic Aura has been purchased. We are officially safe from any fire wizards. Oh, this was not fun. <laughs> I mean, this was fun, but it was very stressful. I'll, I'll definitely say that. RNG is not a fun thing to play with. Not in the slightest. And now the question becomes, do I risk farming more, or do I try to go for another super monkey? The issue is, if I go for another super monkey, I'm putting my, like I'm in a better position. If I farm, I'll be better in the long run, but if there's a decent odds, I'll have to restart this thing again, which would spend even more of my time. But I think because it would be better for you overall, and I think it just makes more sense, I'm gonna try to greed. At least a little bit. Um, which means Dr. Monkey. Dr. Monkey is the best choice at this point. And I believe I'm gonna try to sell a Cobra to move them to a better spot, which wastes $120, which sucks, but... Uh, I believe it makes more sense to do it. Dr. Monkey is in position, sort of- No, it doesn't make sense. I don't think Dr. Monkey makes sense, which is why placing that Cobra is a mistake. Uh, because we're currently popping the balloons too fast, and if we ever reach the point where the balloons would actually reach his serums, um, we're probably already dead, so no, Beamers make more sense. And I will go for them first, because there's only, what is it, two? 
No, it's three beamers. So I, I can go for the three beamers first. That's the plan. We'll go for the three beamers. We'll be good. It's good. Everything will be fine. Beamer number two. And then we go for beamer three. And then we buy the upgrades. It's gonna be so great. We're gonna survive. We're gonna totally survive. It'll be so wonderful. And wonderful. And just, just great. Uh, beamers, right. I actually have to buy them. Oh, right, everything's discounted. I forgot about that. Okay, collect from all of them, because I'm messing this up. Everyone's been collected, and I'm a little bit short, so never mind. I cannot do anything yet. So there we go! Now we need to get upgraded hardware for all of them, and then we're actually set! Which is wonderful. Very, very wonderful. Uh, really, these up- like, the actual income in them won't matter that much, but it will matter a little bit, so... Hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, and there we go. Boom. Boom and boom. We have everything purchased. Going for our second super, second super, second super monkey. I'm not talking well here because I'm very focused. Uh, so we could go for Dr. Monkey, but I don't think I will go for it. I think I'm going to go for another super monkey, and that will be the plan for the time being. Hopefully it's a good plan, at which point I'm going to go for Laser Blast on one of them and Heroic Aura on one of that same one, because uh, I think it makes sense. But first we're going to go for that double super monkey, which will give us better survivability and also mean... Uh, that we're not instantly gonna die to purple balloons as soon as I get laser blasts, which is pretty nice. I mean, overall, our life count is slowly going back up, which is making me a little more confident, because it means if we do leak something random, we're not gonna instantly die, which is nice. That's a nice safeguard. You don't always have that. It's a nice thing to have. Uh, Vimos are not ready yet. Second Two Monkey, however, is ready. Uh, so I think I'm gonna put the Second Two Monkey on the other side of the map. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, don't worry, they're still definitely in range of each other, and now we're gonna go for Aura, which is even cheaper! How wonderful! At the end of this round, we'll probably collect from all the Beemos, and then I'll probably go for a Laser Blast and uh, Disarming Charisma, which will be really great. It's just that extra layer of security, uh, and it lets our DPS slowly start to go up, which is good, because in, like, two to three rounds, there's gonna be more abs. And that's gonna s- oh, two to three rounds? Never mind, apparently on this round, there's gonna be more abs. Okay, so collect from all the Beemos, and we should have Laser Blast. And just my charisma, wonderful. Now it is time to either A, place down a bunch more super monkeys, because they can immediately pop all balloon types, which is super great. Um, or option B would be to go for our first Vengeful Sun God. I kind of want to go for the Vengeful Sun God, but I feel like it makes more sense just to spam a few more super monkeys. Not quite sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, yeah, not quite sure. Or I could go for Lemon Hopes and buff people, or I could go for Insanabity, or to have that extra stalling, like... Many, many different things I could do here. I think what I'm gonna do is probably go for two more Super Monkeys and then go for our uh, first Vengeful Sun God because realistically, um, we're not gonna get the Vengeful Sun God for quite a while. We're probably only gonna end up with two, maybe three of these in this, like, in this game uh, because we don't have a ton of money making. Money making's kinda tight. Uh, but I am gonna go for more Super Monkeys first because they add a ton of DPS and will help. I'm not gonna buy um, Heroic Aura anymore because A, it's unnecessary, the discount still applies to all Super Monkeys now, uh, but also all it would do now is give us immunity from the Wizards, which it's unlikely at this point the Wizards will target a Super Monkey, uh, and even if they do target a Super Monkey, only one of the debuffs straight up makes them useless. Uh, one of them, this like the green effect, wouldn't have that big of an impact because their range is so massive and stuff like that. So, for the most part, good. But that's a BFB already. ZMGs and DTs will be coming soon. I want to have this extra security. So, it's four Super Monkeys. I'm feeling better. It's time to actually go for the upgrades. Uh, I guess Plasma Blast first. Or Speed first. I feel like Attack Speed first is what I want. So, I think I'm going to go for the Attack Speed upgrades first. We're going towards our Vengeful Sun God. Hopefully, it's going to go great. It's really hard to get these. With no extra Cobras. With no Warrior PB. Uh, with no discounted ability costs through, um, uh, Marcelin or Hunter Marcelin with, uh, Bambo, whoever his name is, Hambo, I think it's Hambo. Um, like that, it makes it much harder to get all these upgrades. They're expensive. Bemos, right? I can't forget about you. You guys are a lot of money that you're making me. <laughs> okay, so I know I can buy Hyper Range, but I'm not gonna bother yet. So in total, we have, like, I don't know, we need, like... 47,000? 48,000? Like, no, the less. We need like $45,000 now. We need $11,000 for Sun Avatar and then like 34, I think, for, um, uh, for the event for Sun God or Sun God upgrade. Then we need another, keep in mind, it's actually another $1,200, not $1,200. It is another 
$2,000 every single time I want to actually activate this ability per Super Monkey, which is gonna happen at least once per round. This stuff's expensive. Really, really expensive. So even after we buy the upgrade, we still won't necessarily have enough money for all the Ventful Sun Gods. And the more Ventful Sun Gods we have, the harder it will be to get a second Ventful Sun God, which is the whole point of this. Realistically, half cash, not a great game mode for a challenge. That really, the goal is to make a lot of money. Or requires us making a lot of money. Ugh, so many things can go wrong here. So, so many things. But for the time being, I'm just gonna rush two Ventful Sun Gods. I'll only use the ability if I feel I need to, and by that I mean when a bad balloon comes, because I think that's the only time I'll feel I need to and still have a chance to react. Because uh, realistically, the only other time would be occasionally maybe a ZMG, but probably just DT or bad balloon, in which case DT wouldn't have enough time, and bad balloon, obviously, I'd do it. Uh, but yeah, $32,400, not that bad, and then we gotta go for our next Super Monkeys upgrades later. Beemos are just about ready to collect. Uh, $4,000, like, we're making money fast, it's just realistically, we only have a few rounds till bad balloons come. And I'm not confident in our DPS, like, this is a ZMG, it got, it got too far, and that was the DT. I believe on round 20, or maybe 21, is when the bad balloon comes, so... We really are getting it, we really are cutting this really, really close. Uh, what I will say here, by the way, if you're still watching, if you have a, uh, Send in Clones challenge, if you leave in the comment really soon after this video is coming up, there's good odds we will get at least one more of these challenges in uh, this send in the clone. So if you send in your challenge idea quickly, uh, it should happen really soon. So just thought I'd mention that. Uh, but yeah, so we're at $11,000. We're over a third of the way there. Good, good, good. Time is ticking. Time is ticking very, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Ugh. I don't like this at all. This really is just the wrong game mode for this. Half cash makes all of this so much harder. But what are you gonna do? I've been waiting for a while and I wanted to try this and hopefully this is gonna work because if this doesn't work then I have to try this again next send in the clones when we actually have more money. Because realistically, if we lose at this point, I, just, I feel like I've said realistically a lot, I do say it a lot, uh, but if we lose at this point, um, there's not really that, like, we're probably not gonna get another Vengeful Sun God, maybe, like, if we lose now, we'll probably just don't have enough money, that's probably the case. Which sucks, but it's probably the truth. Uh, at this rate, though, we should at least have Vengeful Sun God ready for the bad balloon. But once the bad balloons come, we basically need a promo Vengeful Sun God, which is really hard to keep. Like, it's round 20 now. Is auto start on? It's not. Okay. I'm just, I'm very confused. I feel like the round just jumped, but maybe not. Okay, there we go. Uh, $8,000 away. That's really not bad at all. But I'm pretty sure the bad balloon's gonna come this round, so I really hope we have enough money before the bad balloon comes so I can actually do all this stuff. Uh, so I need to remember, it is the super fans I need. I probably should do Lemon Hope, too. Um, depending on how much we're struggling with bad balloon with Vengeful Sun God ability, but I might plop down a Lemon Hope as well, we'll see. Uh, but I, I really want to get a second Vengeful Sun God. That's the goal, is to get at least two. But this is really difficult to do when we have such little money to work with. Not such little, but not enough money to work with. I'm nervous now that so many things could go wrong here. And I'm full well expecting a bad one to pop out any second now. And we're not quite ready. We are not quite ready. Okay, Sun so God Upgrade Purchase. Boom. We can technically go for it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plop down the super fans now. I know it's $2,000. Okay, so round's over. That's good. Uh, $2,000 have been spent. The ability is ready to go when we need it. Which means now I can start working on our second Vengeful Sun God over here. Which is the goal, which is... So that's good, that's that's good, that's all I'm really saying. Uh, so that's great, we can start working on our second one. I didn't need to buy that upgrade, that was a mistake. That was a wasted $1,100 that I wasted. Whatever, too late now. Uh, Disarming Charisma, sure, why not? Uh, but no, so we do have the Vengeful Sun God ability ready. Now we're just saving up to get our second one, but we need, obviously, like, forty to fifty thousand dollars. Which is not coming up any time soon, it's a minimum of four or five rounds, which is not easily survived, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll see how well we can do. We will see how well we can do. Uh, now I'm thinking the bad one's probably next round, but I really don't know. It's one of these next few rounds that the first bad one shows up. And once the first one shows up, they just keep coming, so I basically need to keep spending money on my super fans, which just costs more money, and then I have less money to do everything else, which isn't that great. 
It actually looks like I have a chance of taking the Martian throne here, though, which is kind of cool. I wasn't really expecting that, but it's kind of neat. Uh, but no, this is going pretty great. This is going pretty great. Oh, right, uh, upgrades. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we are officially $35,000 away, $34,000 away from having our Vengeful Sun God. Two Vengeful Sun Gods, that's what I meant to say. Because really the question is, will it say two out of two? Uh, and can we activate both of them at the same time? Those are the questions that I would like to answer. Is it gonna crash my game? Is it gonna say, there were too many Vengeful Sun Gods, it's meant to be, there can only be one. That's normally the idea behind the Vengeful Sun God, is like, there can only be one. Um, like in BT6, they sacrifice the other tier 5. Super Monkeys, in this game, you sacrifice all your fans, because Super Monkey is a cruel, cruel person, but I suppose it is the Vengeful Sun God, so it kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, so, you know, there's not really meant to be multiple of them, so let's see what happens when there's multiple of them. What a wonderful idea. Ooh, Babylon Time, ability. So this is the Vengeful Sun God, pretty great. Its range is pretty much full map range, which is good, because this Babylon's gonna make it far, probably. Um... So this is another situation, I'm gonna plop down the rest of the super fans because they're kinda necessary. So that's the end of round 23, but Babylons are gonna be pretty much constant from here on out. And we are still over $34,000 away, which I don't love. I do not like that very much. Um, especially if I have to keep buying this Vengeful Sun God upgrade that's just gonna put us more and more in debt. Uh, I can sell these two super monkeys for like $4,000 and stuff, so that's not horrible. Uh, but I don't really want to do that, and because that makes us less likely to survive as long, so... That's really, like, the last minute thing, and we don't even have Sun Avatar yet, so we're not in the last minute point. Uh, but as you can see, everything that's not a bad balloon kind of gets melted. Let's use some attack speed boost, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, that makes a big difference, which is nice. Uh, not to mention, it actually does increase our money-making gains, which is pretty good. With four Super Monkeys, we have pretty much constant of this, which is great. Sun Avatar... Sun Avatar is purchased... Oh, Fortified Bad Balloon, how wonderful! You better not kill me. That's all I can say is you better not kill me. As soon as this warning horn effects wears off, I just have to plop on the next one. I could upgrade Cobra, but at this point, obviously, I don't really want to. Fortified Babylon, this is a bad sign. Look at this. We're taking too long to pop the first one. If there's too many of them, we're not going to be able to keep up. And that's going to really, really suck if we can't keep up. I'm in slow-mo now, so we'll see if that makes a big difference. We have, like, mostly constant warning horn, but we're so far away from affording our second sun god, and we're way too tight on lives. Like, we're way too close to losing this thing. This is way too close for my comfort level. Okay, I've claimed the motion throne. That's wonderful. So scary. And now I have to redo the vengeful sun god because he's gone, which means another $2,000 down the drain. Oh, uh, I don't think we can do this. Do I plop down a ton of super monkeys? At what point do I give up? Oh, right, one thing I was gonna do, I was gonna do Lemon Hope, that makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for Lemon Hope now. That's that's the best move. We'll boost both super monkeys. Uh, Slow-mo, I'm not gonna do this until a Babaloon shows up. Until a Babaloon shows up, I'm not gonna use the ability because we don't need it for non-Babaloon threats. At least I don't think we do. And, you know, saving every last penny counts at this point since we need to save up another $30,000. And every single round, we're getting closer and closer to death. Not to mention, you can only really make a absolute maximum of $10,000 per round. So, you know, not the greatest position. I don't know. Like, look, at this right now, it's just a bunch of purple balloons and lead balloons. The bad balloons are gonna come. I know they will. But until they do, I have no real reason to activate this ability because I don't need the ability for this. But the balloons are starting to ramp up. We're now at rainbow balloons. Moab balloons, BFBs. Okay, so yeah, if I look, like, if it keeps up with this power, it's gonna be ZMDs next. At which point, I'll probably activate the Sun God ability just to be safe. But at the very least, for BFBs, we are still good, which is great. Uh, this recording is actually getting quite long for me. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be. I'm pretty sure a fair bit of this is gonna get cut out for you. Okay, ZMDs are here. I'm gonna activate the ability just to be safe, because it means bad balloons are gonna be close by the same thing with DTs. Uh, and they're scary, so, you know, ability. Uh, collect from BMOs just to be safe. Almost at $10,000, almost a third of the way there. That's the first bad balloon, of course. Gotta keep activating these warning horns, it's gonna be important. You did, I, I was gonna say you did. I'm pretty sure you can see the impact of the warning horn there, or not the warning horn, the lemon hope there. It's making a fairly big impact, which is good. Uh, we're stronger, we're doing well. We're still alive for the time being. This is going pretty good. Uh, like, this is definitely going pretty good. And really, as long as they're not fortified Babylons, we're probably not gonna die. 
We're over halfway towards our second Vengeful Sun God, which is a good start. Uh, just as a heads up, unless two Vengeful Sun Gods is just super OP, I'm pretty sure we're not going to end up with three. There's very slim odds. If you're expecting three plus Vengeful Sun Gods, you're going to have to wait till it's not half cash. So you're going to have to time travel a few weeks uh, until that video inevitably exists. Uh, but yeah, so we're over halfway, which is pretty good. I'm feeling a lot better. The fact that we can beat Babloons, probably fortified Babloons, pretty easily. Uh, and the fact that we're getting pretty close, we're over halfway. That's all good signs. Those are all really good signs. So, I'm feeling much better. I'm feeling much better. We're probably okay. I hope we're okay. <laughs> Ooh, Babloon time, of course. As soon as I said, I hope we're okay. Uh, no, really not that bad. Warning Horns are definitely pretty key. Having four of these is a good cycle, so we're pretty much constant Warning Horn. Not quite, but close enough, so that's good. DTs, uh, I'm slowing down just in case. Uh, bad Balloon again, not bad. Almost at $20,000, we're getting so close! We really just need to survive another round or two tops, and then we're good! Which is gonna be really good, because... Can you imagine at this point if... I, I know I just cut off mid-sentence there, but can you imagine at this point if they just don't let you buy two. I feel like that's gonna be the case. I know I can buy the upgrade, but I feel like I'm gonna just try to use the ability and it's gonna be like, one out of one, what are you talking about? There can't be two Vengeful Sun Gods. So scared, so, so scared right now. It's probably gonna be fine. Like, I, I can't see any real reason why this wouldn't work. So we're probably fine. Uh, one thing I will probably do is actually use Crystal Copy on one of them while the Revenge of Sun Guard, just out of curiosity. I don't think it'll do anything. Okay, so once again, by the way, uh, not active. The Vengeful Sun God isn't active, but since it's just Purple Bloons, we are good for the time being, and I'm not going to bother with the Vengeful Sun God ability quite yet, just to save a bit more money. Uh, less than 10k away. Less than 10k away. That's a big deal. Big, big deal. Lead Bloons. It, Rainbow Bloons. So it looks like it's continuing the same cycle. No, no, Fortified Lads. I don't know, it looks like it's continuing a similar cycle, so assuming we get mobs first, BFBs first, but then the round's over. Oh right, because that's still the same round. I'm, I'm so lost. Oh wait, no, the round's not over. I, uh, ugh. I'm so confused. This round's just pausing randomly, and I don't really like it. Uh, but we are, for the most part, okay, so I think we're good. Oh, fortified bad balloon. This was bad. Why can't I use warning horn? Why can't I use warning horn? Why is warning horn grayed out? No, we're gonna die because of this. I know. Um. I'm gonna use Snyder Sphere Amulet because we weren't getting a warning horn for whatever reason. I know it's cheating, and I know we're so close to death, and we might still lose even with the Snyder Sphere Amulet, but. Okay, we survived. That was unfair. I'm calling unfair there. I should have used the ability sooner, I know, but Warning Horn didn't activate, and it should have activated. It was grayed out even though we had three abilities, and I'm not gonna let that make us lose, so I'm using the OP ability. I know there's a chance we would have lost, but I also just really want to see two at this point. The whole point of this test, at least originally, was to see two of these. So I'm okay using some abilities and cheating a little to reach what we need to do. Though I'm still a little annoyed, because I feel like we totally could have done this without the Nighter's Fair Amulet. In case you didn't know, Nighter's Fair Amulet, one of the best epic abilities in the game, or epic powers in the game. See, like, look at this, we're fine- oh wait, that's with the Nighter's Fair Amulet, I thought it disappeared. Uh, it's basically like another Vengeful Sun God in terms of power level, it's probably a bit stronger even, so it's kind of crazy. Oh my god, no, four or five bad balloons, I can't tell. Uh, realistically, it's probably gonna keep us safe for the rest of this round, which is really enough time for us to be good. See, it's still around. Uh, we're getting really, really close. We could probably sell the Beatmos to get enough for the true Sun God, which I think I might do. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I think we'll be good. I think we can survive long enough, especially if we still have this thing. Though, I am gonna prop down these other, um, people. Because, I mean, we need them no matter what to get the second ability off. Uh, but also just in case the first one wears off or whatever, it's good to have both. Uh, though obviously we still have a bit of a warm-up this round, probably, I think, I don't know. These rounds are kind of random. At least I'm pretty sure they're kind of random. Those BFPs got melted there. <laughs> the combination just demolishes them so, so fast. Fortified Babylon, panic mode, initiated. Really, we're gonna see, like, a, I'm sure as soon as this Nuns family is gonna run out, I'm just gonna immediately lose just like a normal bad balloon because we're gonna do like no damage. I'm just waiting for it to happen. 
I'm honestly kind of surprised it's lasting this long. I didn't think the power-up lasted this long. I have 17 of them. I'm just picturing it now. This thing's gonna, for whatever stupid reason, become permanent just from a glitch. And then we're not actually gonna see the true power of just four of them. Also, second sun god, boom. One and oh two. Uh, why, why can't I use the ability? It's grayed out. Oh wait, so here's the test. Uh, I have, think I have to wait until this first ability wears out. Because there's a problem here. It's not letting me use it. I really hope this is a problem and that something is going to get fixed. My hope is that it's just that for whatever reason this fourth one isn't quite in range or they're bowing to this dude even though they should be bowing to this super monkey. I'm hoping that's the issue. I'm going to assume that's the issue. And we're going to see how well this goes. I'm going to wait a bit longer, wait for this first Fenstral Sun God ability to wear out, and hopefully at that point we'll be able to do... Uh, both abilities because otherwise we just can't use both abilities. It says two out of two. There we go. So it's both are deactivated True Sun God, so he's here. Okay, I can summon them here I'm gonna summon them right on the edge. So they're definitely bound to this dude Place them over here. You can tell they're who they're bowing to they're bound to him. I can't use the ability You've got to be kidding me Why not this is so stupid you really can only use one of them at a time. That's really lame. Also, why is this Nightmare from Amulet still here? <laughs> but no, that's that's really lame. I mean, I'm assuming after this one runs out, we can switch to the other one, but... Nah, there's a limit of one ability. This is... This is a lame ending, all things considered. Well, backup plan, plop as many Super Monkeys down as physically possible, uh, and see how far we can survive. Maybe, I don't know. Honestly, this is really disappointing. I don't really... I don't really get this. I don't see why you can't have two of them. I mean, yes, there are eight people. I don't have eight people that are praying to him that are willing to sacrifice themselves, but there's four and then there's another four, so that's eight still, even if it's not technically eight originally. I don't know, I don't really get this. This is annoying to me, but we'll see. Maybe after this ability wears out, we'll fix it still. I have a tiny bit of hope. I don't have much hope, but I have a tiny bit of hope. I also still wanna try crystal copying eventual sun god, so. I'll wait until I activate this ability one more time, hopefully for the Super Monkey on the right. Then I'll try Crystal Copy, uh, and who knows, maybe we'll just have a bunch of overpowered powers and see how long we can last. We'll see. I don't know. I don't really feel like doing a super long, like, round 40, 50 type thing right now, because I'm not confident this strategy can beat 100 rounds. I don't think it can, especially on half cash. Um... Especially, and like on a fairly difficult map, so we're not gonna make it to our new best and it's just gonna take a long time So I'm gonna wait a bit longer see how well things can go see if we can try a bit longer to get this second vengeful sun god uh, And use some crystal copy shenanigans and stuff like that, but that's pretty much it uh, So we'll see We will see I mean, Oh right Beemos Beemos uh, I don't know, honestly, it's gonna really suck if we just can't at all use these, like, use two abilities. That would be really disappointing, and although it kind of makes sense, it just, it would be really disappointing. Also, Niter Shade Amulet, you've been here for, like, three or four rounds. Why is the cloud still here? Did I do something weird to make it permanent? Does being in the presence of a vengeful sun god make it permanent? Or is it just already permanent? I really don't know. Seems weird to me though, I really don't get it. Uh, I haven't had much experience with the ability, I know it's really powerful and a few people have told me that they've used it to like, last forever and stuff like that. But I didn't assume, I assume the ability rear out like fairly fast, but it looks like it's looking right now like it's gonna last at least three or four rounds each. Which means you don't even need all that many, like how many I have now will be enough to last me from now until over round 100, which is pretty great. Uh, though I'm assuming this thing will wear out eventually. We'll see. That's another thing, testing. The more things I know about this game, the better. I like learning new things in this game. Also, why is there still a Vengeful Sun God ability active? Does having a second Super Monkey Vengeful Sun God ability make it permanent? Because that would at least be a decent use. Like, I mean, saving him money, this ain't bad. Obviously, it doesn't really help much since you can't use it. Okay, no, it's over. Okay. So that ended, I'm gonna use this Vengeful Sun God, which is transforming the same Super Monkey. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try putting these people as far right as physically possible. It's not gonna make a difference. I know it won't. 
I guess maybe they just sacrifice to one and that's it. Like, it's weird. In my mind, they can fit, they can have multiple, but I guess maybe not. Hard to know. Yeah, no, we can't get two abilities off here. I'm assuming if I sold this, which I might actually try, is if I sell this, I can then go here, yeah. Okay, so that's weird. That's definitely weird. Test number, like, three, I guess. Crystal copy and super monkey. It's a normal super monkey, right? It is. That is too bad. Uh, it does have Google Mama meter and stuff, which is really cool, but that is too bad. Can I plop down another sun god? I have no idea if I have enough money at this point. I probably do. We're probably good. Yeah, there we go. Purchase stuff good again. I'll try it on this side then. I have no more faith that it's gonna work, but I mean, I don't know. They prioritized this guy before. It's possible. Uh, no, yeah. That's so weird, honestly. Okay, no, it's not so weird. It's I kind of predicted it. There can only be one. Uh, but it's a little disappointing. Uh, so I think this is probably the last round. I just said, uh, like five times. This video is getting super long for you guys. This recording is getting super long for me. It's kind of late, and I'm tired, so... Uh, that's probably gonna be it for today. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'm sorry this turned out so disappointing. Also, when I just free amulet just wore out. Assuming it didn't wear out as soon as I used crystal copy. So we might actually die too, which is just so wonderful. Uh, but no, so there we have it. No matter what, no matter what I try, I just can't get two vengeful sun gods. It's disappointing, but it's the truth. Uh, I'm assuming you can't get two normal sun gods either. Not that you really want to. The normal sun god is less than half as strong as the vengeful sun god, so having two of them would be worse than having one vengeful sun god, but I don't know. Anyways, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all tomorrow.